Another story, another day. Let's get into it. Columbus is underway. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Damon Maloney. Today, Ohio lawmakers passed a bill banning transgender students from using the bathroom where they feel most comfortable. Our Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow has been covering the policy surrounding the LGBTQ plus community for years and explains now what this bill does. Being seen in a bathroom where it doesn't look like you belong puts transgender students in danger. Transgender students like Leo Duru, who says he's been verbally and physically attacked after entering bathrooms that don't align with his identity as a trans man. I still overthink every move I make and try to leave during classes so that fewer people will be in the restrooms. Now he fears what will happen under Ohio's soon to be law. The Senate passed SB 104, which requires all public schools and colleges to mandate that students can only use the bathroom or locker room that matches their sex assigned at birth. It now heads to the governor's desk. Trans Ohio's Dara Adkison says this will make the lives of queer youth harder after Ohio already banned gender affirming care and their participation in school sports. There are people that hate them somewhat unequivocally just for wanting to use the bathroom? What are we doing? But state rep Adam Byrd says this bill is about public safety. It is controversial, but it is an issue of protection for those people that are vulnerable. A study from UCLA found that there is no evidence of safety risks by letting trans people use facilities that align with their identity. An American Academy of Pediatrics study did find that it's actually the transgender teens who face a greater risk of sexual assaults in schools that prevent them from using the bathrooms they choose. Still, Bird the says that there's fear that assaults could happen if the bill isn't passed. We don't want men in the in, in the girls' restroom, and I think also that the other way is true too, because as a young man, you don't want to be falsely accused in a restroom by somebody of the opposite sex that has come in there. There are some exceptions, like a parent helping a child under 10, a caretaker with someone with a disability, or someone who's responding to a legitimate emergency. Schools would have to use their own funding to build single-use stalls for trans kids. It is part of a targeted attack against people who can't fully speak for themselves. Governor Mike DeWine says he will sign it when it reaches his desk. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. Well, there you have it. Let me know your thoughts about this.